I haven't forgotten about Citadel Shades. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a good day. Uh, today we're going to be painting Moon Knight Zombie version from the Marvel Zombie Stretch Goals box. I'm actually going to be using some good old Soul Blight Gray here from the Citadel Shades range because it was one of my favorite shades on white until some of the speed paints come along. But let's see how it works out on a miniature that has a really big cape. Let's get to the table and start painting. All right, so first we're gonna to wanna to prime our miniature with some matte white primer or any other kind of white primer you might have lying around. Preferably with an airbrush because then you don't get rid of all those nice details because sometimes the spray cans just clutter up and just put too much on your miniature, which has happened to me many times in the past. All right, for those of you who remember Soul Blight Gray, when it first came out and I started using it, I was in love with this shade when it came to white uh, contrasting you know highlighting white how what do you do with white and especially for a zombie version of the moon knight who is pretty much all white uh, I decided to put this soul black gray because it is like ashen stone a bit more from the speed paints it has a little bit more gray to it is a little bit more grimy but I also did a undercoat uh, with an airbrush, just a light gray on the bottom part of his cape, which I completely forgot to record. So uh, just, I don't know what happened. I guess I forgot to hit the record button or something. Anywho, and of course now we're back with the bony matter here using this on all the flesh, which isn't very much once again. The next color I'm using is mummy robes. We're going to be putting these on these little mummies that are popping out from the ground. Uh, at first I was like, well, okay. I was going to make them a little bit more mummified and stuff like that. Uh, and this was just to make them a little bit more like have like a pinkish tone to the underpainting job of it. Uh, the other thing I should have done actually after I'm putting the shade on this later is actually come back with a dry brush and make them pop a little bit more. Some uh, Howling Sand for the sand, of course. Howling Sand is a great, it's almost got a hint of yellow to it, some beige to it, not too much. Uh, just perfect for the sand and as you can see like all the tips stay a little bit lighter than in the recess But you got to really put a lot I'm noticing that I used to put a little too little of speed paints on my brush Now I'm glopping it on a little bit more so that it really gets into the recesses and darkens and then stays a little bit lighter on the outside or the, the You know flatter parts and Gravelord Grey does a good job here on this um, What would you call this? Um uh, like an obelisk kind of thing, but no, there's there's a uh, I'm trying to think of a word for this thing that's out of the ground here. I don't know, whatever stone. Uh, a little bit of fire giant orange for his eyes, and you know what? If you get some on the rest of his mask around his eyes, it's not a big deal because then it just gives it a glowing effect. So here I am putting a little bit of light tone, realizing that light tone is a little bit more brown than the soft tone. The soft tone, if you remember on that video I did where I did under shading for batch painting and all that stuff. Uh, just I forgot completely what this did and this is where I should have came back with the mummy robes just a very light dabbing of a dry brush over them would probably do a better job but anyways there you go Moon Knight already painted ready for the table so all you noobs out there don't be worried about painting these miniatures I want to thank my new patron Will Flattery uh, thank you again for becoming a patron you guys can do that too you can become a patron you can become a member and you can also tip I want to thank you guys for watching and we'll see you all in the next one